here's something to smile about. If you're into stargazing, the days of putting your eye to a telescope aren't exactly over. But if you want to see the really good stuff, you probably need to go to an observatory. Or maybe you could just build one in your backyard. <laughs> Brian Zeidlinger caught up with a man in Winter Harbor who did just that. Let's see if I can get an image of that. Let's see how good I can get of an image. If you're looking for all that Mother Nature has to offer in Down East Maine, Winter Harbor is as good a place as any. For Tim Cushman, it turns out Winter Harbor is also a decent place to see nature that is truly out of this world. The sky for this location uh, is a bottle three, so it's a it's considered a dark sky, so you don't have a lot of lights from cities that are polluting the sky. So I can shoot without a filter, which is good. Cushman's astrophotography hobby started with a small telescope just two years ago. Once you get started, you fall into a deep well. Okay, well, I got to get this, I got to get that. Now he captures breathtaking images yeah. of the cosmos from a full-fledged observatory in his backyard. So that's a Ritchie Cretchen 8-inch, the main telescope. It's a carbon fiber. The top one is the guide scope. That's an 80 millimeter refractor. And he runs the entire operation from his phone. I use programs and that'll give you different images that are available for this location. Because what I try to do is shoot straight above. That way you go through less atmosphere. And uh, it'll show me my best galaxies to, to shoot or my best uh, nebulas. M31, that's the Andromedan galaxy here. That was shot with the small 50 millimeter uh, refractor. Of course, we asked him the hard hitting questions one would ask of an astrophotographer. Have you ever seen any aliens? Any no. UFOs? No aliens, no UFOs. I know, you, you, <laughs> you wait and you come up, and, you know, you're expecting this. Maybe you might see something, but I haven't seen anything Nothing yet. yet. Nothing yet. But what really sets an astrophotographer like Cushman apart from the rest of us is the regular look he gets at what's far beyond the naked eye. All the stars with, that you see when you look up in the sky are from this galaxy, from the Milky Way galaxy. A lot of those images you see are different galaxies, so they're millions and millions of light years away. It's hard to grasp because people, they don't realize how far that actually is. And a better understanding of how vast the universe is compared to the planet where his telescope sits. How small are we? Unbelievably small. <laughs> Unbelievably small, yeah. Brian Seidlinger, WABI TV5 News, Winter Harbor. That is so cool, and so cool. It puts things in perspective, like he was saying, just how small we really are. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I don't know. I feel like you kind of hear that saying a lot. It's like, hey, don't get too into it. We're just, we're little beings here <laughs> doing floating. what we can. Yeah, exactly. That was very well done as always by Brian Seidler.